Well, hello there. Today we're going to be talking about a simple Gantt chart in modern SharePoint Online. I call this simple in the most rudimentary literal sense because this is not a Gantt chart in the aspect of it's going to show milestones and task dependencies, Microsoft Sales Project for that matter. But this is using this is powered off of a modern SharePoint list. And if you get through a little bit of hurdles, uh, you can configure this as a basic something. Um, I really like SharePoint list, and this is one feature I, I wish it was more, uh, it got a little bit more love, but I understand that um, Microsoft sells project, and that's probably what they really want to push you towards. Um, but the nice part is, once you create this view, which can, we're going to do it on this video, you can then take this hyperlink, and you can store that, you know, you can store that anywhere. You can have it on your shortcuts. You can put this in a Microsoft team. Um, you don't want to embed this in your SharePoint site because it's going to put your your banner here. So you'll have a SharePoint site within a SharePoint site. That's real ugly. You'll want to link out to it. So I'll show that at the end of this video. But for today, let's talk about uh, creating this guy. I'm going to switch right over here. Do do do. So right here is the. Um, let's go to the work progress tracker. And again, the purpose of this is out of the box. Obviously, if we customize the form, if we introduce other technologies like Power Apps, we can do more sophisticated things. But the idea is I want to do out of the box as fast as possible. So I'm using the, the standard work progress tracker template that comes within Microsoft lists. I have not modified the fields. So the work progress tracker is right here. If you go to a list, you've got the work right here. This is the work progress tracker. And all I've done, I haven't done any finagling other than inputting this data. So um, you got your start date, your due date. Um, those, are the, those are the real dependencies. And you want to make sure those kind of match because if you, you know, you're, you're going to have some overlapping dates. And this is the perfect scenario here. But if you have, you know, this first task a start a lot shorter, you're going to have a shorter green. You're going to have a gap between tasks. And you'll see that. So really, once you have once you have your data input here, again, this is modern SharePoint, so there's no task dependencies and there's no um, checkboxes on the on the task. So uh, once you have your data in here, you just have to build the view. So to do that, you go into your settings, you go into your list settings, and you scroll down to the bottom and you create view. And this is the secret sauce right here. This guy right here. You don't have this option in any other place that I know of. So by doing this, you're going to be able to generate that visual. So you hit Gantt View. Maybe. There it goes. So then give it a name. Give it number two. So then these this can all stay the default. What's important to note is right here, these Gantt columns. You won't get these columns in other views. So we're going to just match this up. We have title, start date, due date. These fields are not part of our template, so we are not going to mess with these fields. Perhaps in another video, we might show people how to make something unsustainable or unscalable, but we're not doing that today. We're just doing the fields that are part of the, uh, the template. Start date, due date, title, start date, and due date. There you go, those three fields. So once you're done from there, you can just scroll all the way down to the bottom and hit save. Everything else, I'm leaving default. Okay. Very, very important that you bookmark this, this uh, hyperlink because this is how you're going to go build it on your site. In the event that you forget about this, this hyperlink, you can't get it any other way than the, way, the, the route that we took. So let's say you forgot about that bookmark, let me go back to my list and I'll show you. There's my views right there. And let me do a refresh so I get my new view. Gantt for demo two. You'll see it doesn't show because modern SharePoint doesn't want you to see that or they just make it harder. I don't know why. So if you lose that, you just go back to where you go, um, landed to create it. And the, the, the gear here, list settings, uh, scroll down to create view. I think you can actually click on Gantt for demo too. 
and then hit OK. And that was our existing view, and there it is. So that's where it lives. That's how you get to the URL. Um, if there's another way of getting back to it, and anybody knows that, you know, you can you can please share that information with me. Uh, but now that we've got this link, we can go ahead and talk about what can we do with this. So the nice part is you can take that and you can put it on your main page. So let me go to my main IT page here. And you can, like I said, you could Im technically, SharePoint lets you embed it here, but it's going to embed the whole page. So it's really, I wouldn't do that. But you can come in here. Let me just delete this so you can see uh, how it's made. So you can just add a link. That's fine. Make sure you clear that HTTPS. Paste it in there. And then Gantt. Whoops. There we go. Open a new tab. That's fine. Save. I'm going to do a refresh. And there it is right there. And it will load your Gantt chart. The same is to the same is true to you know a SharePoint team as well. If you have a, a particular team in SharePoint, you can take that information and you can post that in your uh, Microsoft Teams tab. So if you're running a project in Teams, Teams the, the new version's taken forever, uh, but you can come in here and you can uh, let's see here. And you can just add it as a tab. Call it Gantt. Paste in the URL. And there you go. So you could have a tab of your tasks and your Gantt and Firefox is being weird, but your modern web, web browser will view it. Yeah, it looks like Firefox is having an issue with it, but every other website typically loads it. And your team's, your team's client's going to load this just fine, too, at least for now. So there you go, guys. Uh, that, that's pretty much a Gantt chart in modern SharePoint. Um, I do have ideas for, I would say, building or expanding this to do a little bit more, give us more demo, make it prettier. But this is where we're going to stop for today. Talk to you later.